hi welcome back to my channel today i will be making sorrel drink it is a very delicious and nutritious drink enjoyed in the caribbean around christmas time it is high in fiber vitamin c and a and other important nutrients you can have it unsweetened as a tea or sweetened as a beverage as we enjoyed it in the caribbean let us forge ahead. At this point, I am pounding my ginger. You can either grate it or put it in whole, whichever you prefer. On my stove is a pot with 14 cups of water heating. And I will be using the dried sorrel since I don't have any access to the fresh. In goes my half pound of sorrel. Followed by my cinnamon stick and cement leaf you can use baileys if you prefer also you can break up the cinnamon stick here comes my ginger and you can use how much ginger you want to it's up to your preference i'm going to leave this to heat up on the stove for 10 minutes you do not have to if you don't want to you can always just heat the water put in your ingredients and let the sorrel draw for a couple of hours or overnight. Please note that the different types of spices and the amount depends on you. After 10 minutes, I am going to take off my stove, cover my pot, put it to a side and let it steep or draw overnight. This will help extract the flavors from the spices and help soften the sorrel. After steeping the sorrel overnight, I am going to strain the sorrel. I am going to place this sorrel into a container with water, put it in my fridge and boil it for later use. You can also add fresh spices to it when you are going to boil it again and just continue to boil it until all that strength is gone from the sorrel. Moving forward, I am then straining my sorrel for the second time. I am then bottling out some of the unsweetened sorrel for my friends. They can choose to dilute it with water and sweeten to their likeness. Also, if you are not ready to use this sorrel, you can put it in plastic bottles and place it in your freezer. In my bowl, I have three cups of sorrel and that is unsweetened sorrel and I'm adding seven cups of water to it. At this point, this decision is up to you. You can add how much water you want, but you don't want to make it too watery. I am then adding one cup of white sugar or granulated sugar. You can use brown sugar if you want. This color is very bright, so that's why I'm using the white sugar. You can put in some vanilla extract if you wish, but I do not like that in mine. You can go ahead and add rum or black wine. I love to pour black wine in mine, but I'm not going to do it. I will do it when I glass it out. I am going to bottle out my drink and this is all mine. I'm going to put in my whole cloves. 
you can boil it if you want when you are boiling the sorrel but i love to put it in after i make my drink it gives it such a good flavor you then put your sorrel in the refrigerator I am going to pour a little black wine into my glass and you can put it remember I told you guys you can put it in the drink itself that's up to you and how much you want to consume and you know some people like their sorrel a bit tarty I do not like it I do not like that sour taste this is just perfect for me very perfect you can try this recipe and let me know how you like it. It is so delicious. No sour taste, no tarty taste, just perfect. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Be safe. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you.